True happiness is something everyone seeks. However, most people have never found it. Most individuals are unaware that happiness can be found in the life of simplicity. I came to feel happiness, find uh, happiness, and uh, I think it's uh, good for both me and my family that I, I'm doing this. For this reason, men from around the world have flown great distances across land and oceans to come to Thailand to verify this for themselves by participating in the International Dhammadaya Ordination Program, which has been taking place for the past 10 years. According to Long Pao Tamacha Yo, we write foreigner to have a chance to study Dhamma and ordain as the Buddhist monk. The International Dhamma Dayada Ordination Program, or IDOP, began on 2003 by the Foreign Affairs Department. The objective of this program is to bring native people around the world to ordain as the Buddhist monk and study Dhamma, keep the precept and doing meditation. The most recent one-month international ordination program took place from July 7th to August 5th, 2012 at the Dhammagaya Temple. Each composed an assured step of every one of the 116 Dhammadayadas illustrate to their collective determination to embark on this virtuous way of life. The day of their hair clipping represents the day that they've cut themselves off of life's worries. No matter which part of the world they've come from, on this day, each one does not look any different from the other and is suited to become true monks and heirs to the Lord Buddha. up every day at 4.20. The music comes on, we have to get ready, prepare, shower, be done by 4.50. 4.50 they do roll calls, you have to stand in a row, military style, and you go up to the room by 5. By then you do your morning chantings, we have a session of class in the morning. With men coming from various parts of the world, the biggest challenge facing the teaching monks is the diversity in culture that the participants present. The preliminary two weeks are vital and geared toward preparing ordinance 
to become true monks and uniting individuals from different countries, languages, and cultures with the Buddhist culture. Till, till our breakfast. Our breakfast starts six to seven is our breakfast. We get our food. We have to pray and thank the people that made our food because we, they donate it for us. Valuing this precious opportunity, each day that passes by was never wasted as ordinary focus on training themselves. They demonstrated admirable effort in learning to recite the request for ordination as fluently as they could in the Pali language, an ancient language most were unfamiliar with. This was yet another important step that everyone must succeed in order to become true monks that they've envisioned. But the chanting is by far the hardest thing, uh, learning the Pali, which is something totally foreign, something totally new to me, and, and, um, so, and trying to remember. We have two, it's only two A4 sheets of paper, both sides, but it's surprisingly hard to remember. So we're, we're all putting a lot of effort into doing that. The moment that they have been anxiously waiting for has arrived. As the ordinary calmly exited the chapel door in order to meet those they owe a debt of gratitude and to request for their forgiveness. A process to purify their body, speech and mind. On this day, not only do we identify them as Dhammadayada monks, but we also see courageous individuals with hearts so big that they've willingly entered themselves in a one-month program to examine and experience the benefits from being ordained as a monk. This demonstrates to us that the most ideal lifestyle for a male is a simple life of a monk. In becoming an ordained monk, every male is given the opportunity to begin a new, peaceful monastic life. The significance of ordaining rests in being able to elevate oneself from the status of a lay person to being a part of the Triple Gem.
Once the higher ordination was complete, everyone embraced their new tranquil life as monks. Soon they will start to truly understand the value of being ordained and living a life of simplicity that they've never experienced before at home. Although they are international monks, in the early hours of the morning, these monks will go on their alms round to receive food and live the simple life by consuming whatever has been offered to them by the lay people. コースの前に皆さんとあの今の、えー、日本人の皆さんと参加してきましたが、えー、最初は、えー、それぞれの性格も分かりませんでしたが、えー、少しずつ、えー、慣れてきましたんで、えー、のでお互いに助け合いやっぱり心をこう広げて、えー、生活をしております、まあ、あの出家したからも。スーカーサクサンサマキスーカーサクサンサマキスーカーサクサンサマキ Each monk maximized every valuable second immersed in learning Dhamma and most importantly in practicing meditation by placing their mind gently at the center of their body. This is the path that will lead them to true happiness, a path that will create a peaceful world where our differences are no longer a focal point. Zither 佛像啊，这个佛像是在打坐的佛像，而且它是个透明的佛像，啊，那有时候它会旋转，那有时候它也是，它会渐渐的随我的意念去旋转。Crystal Buddha that I see within the center of my body is so bright, and I've now been able to go straight to the seventh base and place myself clearly inside the Buddha. The more I get relaxed, the the brighter I become inside and I expand and become very, very light. The happiness that fills me is very, very hard to explain and I think it's something that everyone should try to experience for themselves. So within my meditation, uh, slowly I, my seven base become black, then few minutes then three crystal ball, like brightness come out with my seven days. So I saw here uh, relax and quite happy. Nang dai paman sipa na ti, le go hen sang sawang. Tae wa kung ko me lu wa sang alai na. Nan pai go mun sang sawang nan kau ma nei tuo pum le. Mun pum ni tuk cha thi a kan thi suong. แล้วก็จะตกจากที่บนภูเขาผมตกใจมากตื่นเต้นไม่รู้ว่าพูดยังไงดีนะเปิดตามาก็มีความสุข
it started out very black and thoughts were going around in my head but eventually it just kind of, I kind of um, came to a standstill but it, I didn't do anything to make it come there it just naturally came and my thoughts stopped and suddenly I saw 2D white circles coming at me and it was as if I went straight through the center of all of them it was like a tunnel and then all of a sudden the lights were flashing on and off and then it went away but the moments when I saw that were very special.